so today we took notes on how to balance a redox reaction. And so I'd like to go through a couple of examples on your balance and redox worksheet just to review over and give you a few more um, examples to go by. The first thing that you have to do, we said, was to separate your half reactions. So here, if you notice, from one side to the other, you can pair up iron 2 with iron 3, and you can pair up chlorine with the chloride ion. So this will enable us to get our two half reactions. So one half reaction is going to be Fe plus 2 changing to Fe plus 3. And the other half reaction involves chlorine, Cl2, changing to the chloride ion, Cl negative 1. The second step is to balance all atoms except for hydrogens and oxygens with coefficients. So if you look at the irons, there's one iron on each side. So the irons are balanced in this half reaction. Jalen Williams, please report to the bug lot. Jalen Williams, please report to the bug lot. Sorry about that. But here in this half reaction, you have two chlorines and only one chlorine over here. So we can use the coefficient 2, and that gives me two chlorines on both sides. The next step in balancing the redox reaction is to balance your oxygens with waters. Well, there are no oxygens in either half reaction, so you just skip that step. Next, you would balance any hydrogens with hydrogen ions. There are no hydrogens, so you skip that step. The next step says balance your charge using electrons. This is the part that it is really different than what we normally do. Um, we're going to be adding electrons to balance our charge. And here, this is the, also the place where oftentimes students will mess up. So here's how you figure out your charge. You're going to take a look at your coefficient. And then you multiply the coefficient to any charge you see. So on this side, 1 times a plus 2 gives me a plus 2 on this side. This is understood 1. 1 times a plus 3 gives me a plus 3 on this side. Well, we don't have equal charge on each side, so we need to add electrons. You always add the electrons to the most positive side. Remember, electrons are negative. So in order to get both sides with equal charges, if I add one electron to this side, that would give me a negative 1, and then plus 3 and a negative 1 gives me an overall plus 2 on this side. Now, this side has a plus 2 charge, and this side has a plus 2 charge as well. So our charge is balanced in this half reaction. Let's take a look at the other half reaction. This is an understood one. And there, there's no charge here. This is neutral. So 1 times 0 gives you 0 on this side for the overall net charge. 2 times a negative 1 here gives me a negative 2 on this side. All right. So you always add your electrons to the most positive side, which is this side here. So we're going to add 2 electrons to this side two electrons. That gives you two times a negative one, which is a negative two charge. So negative two and zero give you an overall negative two. So now both sides here have a negative two charge. The next thing is you've got to make sure that your electrons are equal in number. So in other words, in this half reaction, I have two electrons. In this half reaction, I have one electron. Well, you have to get all of your electrons to cancel out. So I need to make this first half reaction, I need to multiply it by 2. Everything gets multiplied through, and that will give me the same number of electrons on, in each half reaction. So I say 2 times 1 gives me 2 irons. 2 times 1 gives me 2 irons. 2 times 1 gives me two electrons. So now my electrons will cancel out. This, these two electrons here 
are going to cancel with these two electrons here. If there are any other identical species, you need them to cancel as well. But nothing else cancels. Nothing else will match up and cancel out. So that means you're going to bring both half reactions back together now. And this will be your final answer. So I always start and go left to right. And I start with my top and then go to the bottom half reaction. So 2 Fe2 plus ions plus 1 Cl2 yields 2 Fe3 plus ions plus 2 chloride ions. This is your final answer. Now, if you go back and double check, everything should be balanced, charge and number of atoms. Notice my charge, 2 times a positive 2 gives me a plus 4, and chlorine is neutral, so 0. So this whole side here is a plus 4. 2 times a positive 3 gives me a plus 6. 2 times a negative 1 gives me a minus 2. And if you add that together on this side, you get a plus 4 overall on this side. Both sides have the same overall charge. Then check to make sure your atoms are equal. I have two irons, two irons, two chlorines, and two chlorines. So you are done. That is a balanced redox reaction.